Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this week I have a sunflower design for you. I know I've done sunflowers before, but this is a little different. And it's a good step in the right direction for fall. And I think I will call this one Falling Petals. Don't hold me to that, but whatever I decide to name it, it will be the title of this video. I love how this design turned out, and it has to do with stamping. With that being said, let's get on into it to see how it's done. So like we do when we're on our natural nails, not any type of fake nail or whatever, but our own natural nails, we're going to start off with a base coat to protect them. Once the base coat is dry, we're going to put down our white base color. Now, just to give the background a little something before we put on the stamping, we're going to go in with a fine glitter. Now I can talk about the stamping for a minute. I'm using a What's Up Nails plate B044. I don't exactly remember the name of this plate because all their plates have names, but it's one of my newest ones from them. And for this look, I'm using this image right here for the nail I'm showing you. And then on my other nails, I did the same white background, same fine glitter, and I did the falling petals like that just simple little falling petals off the sunflower but I using this one for my middle finger and I've already stamped it off camera because I reverse stamped it so just to save time I did it off camera There's what it looks like. And as you can see, I put a, a liquid latex barrier around my nail for easy cleanup because this image is slightly wider than my nail. And plus, I'm only going to put it covering half my nail, which you'll see. And so the liquid latex will just make for easier cleanup. And I will clean it up off camera and I'll be back for the final step. And here it is, all clean and stamped. Not a much of the center stayed, unfortunately. That was just my bad placement. I should have moved it down a little bit. But you can still see it. You can still tell what this is. So I'm still happy with it. Now what the final step is, is we're going to seal our flower in with a glossy quick dry top coat. And here's the design all finished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. It helps me know you like my videos. If you see a big red subscribe button down below, that means you're not subscribed to my channel. So be sure to hit that and subscribe. Once you're done subscribing, be sure to turn on the post notification bell so you get notified when a video goes up so you never miss a video. Leave a comment for what you'd like to see next or any comment. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.